Hi folks, we're going to take a look at 552 number 7b. So they're asking us to solve this system of equations. So anytime you're solving a system, you want to first look to see if any of these planes are parallel. And if you look at uh, equations 1 and 2, I can see that these are definitely parallel because uh, the normal vector for plane 2 is 2 times the normal vector to plane 1. Okay, 2 times 4, 3 times 2. Sorry, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, however, we see that the d values do not differ by the same amount. So we have that d2 is not equal to 2d1. So what does that tell us? It tells us that plane 1 and plane 2 are parallel and distinct. So right off the bat, we can say that there's no solution to this system of equations, okay? Because even without considering the third plane, all right, we can say there's no solutions because these two planes have no points of intersection. Now, they don't ask for it here, but we might as well take a look at what the geometric expectation, uh, sorry, the geometric interpretation is here. So we have, we can say, uh, since plane three is not parallel to planes one and two, Okay, so I'm using pi here as the, uh, as the representation for planes. Okay, we can say that the geometric interpretation is going to be the sort of not equal sign. So two planes that are parallel and distinct, and then another plane which crosses through them, not parallel. But again, there's no um, point of intersection. All right. So just to recap here, here, notice I didn't really have to do any algebra other than showing that the two normal vectors were um, scalar multiples of each other, hence parallel, but the uh, D values were not the same scalar multiples of each other, hence we had parallel and distinct planes, hence no solutions. Okay, that's it for this one.